Inyaki Williams at Manchester United, is he good enough and where would he fit in tactically to social systems? Before the video starts, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of the season previews, transfer analysis or fantasy football videos coming up over the next few weeks and give this video a like if you enjoy it. Also, I've put a quiz question in the comment section below, just go down there and see if you can get the answer right. So with Manchester United's transfer window or transfer strategy being thrown into absolute chaos with Dybala first rejecting them, then Christian Eriksen, it seems that Ed Woodward and the board at Manchester United have decided to go down a completely different route, something they weren't looking to do beforehand. They've sold Lukaku to Inter Milan for around £70 million, I think it is. I think it's €65 million, Euro, plus another €12 million Euro in add-ons, and they're looking to reinvest that in athletic Bilbao's in Yaki Williams. The 25-year-old Athletic Bilbao forward does have an £81 million release clause, which Manchester United have reportedly triggered. This means that Athletic Bilbao have to accept this offer, and it's now up to Inyaki Williams' representatives and Manchester United to hash out a deal. So what sort of a player is Inyaki Williams, and if signed, what would he bring to Manchester United? So I would describe Inyaki Williams as a wide forward, but he can play that traditional winger role. He has absolutely electric pace and is one of the quickest players in the world, which is why most of his game either revolves around him dribbling with the ball from deep, moving into the attacking third, or making runs in behind the back line to receive a through ball and potentially score a 1-1. One one. Even though last season he scored 13 goals in 38 league games, the three seasons before he didn't break double figures. Though to be fair to him, the seasons before he wasn't playing as a centre forward, that was Adjurev's role, with Williams playing as a sort of second striker, making runs off of Adjurev's and into the channels. Inyaki is very inconsistent in front of goal, last season he underperformed his expected goals rate by 0.37 goals and the season before that he underperformed it by 3.08 goals. What this shows is that Inyaki isn't exactly a clinical finisher, though he could in theory improve this part of his game. Unlike a Nicolas Pepe or a Paolo Dybala, Inyaki Williams isn't exactly a creator, he only created 0.8 key passes per game last season in La Liga, which is pretty poor from a forward player. He also only completed 1.4 dribbles per game which is surprising for a player who has such a pace, but in theory it does make sense. Inyaki isn't really necessarily a player that can beat a man in tight situations like an Eden Hazard or a Neymar. He relies on his pace in a similar way that Gareth Bale does, so he needs space to do that, which is why he benefits most when playing in the counter-attacking system, when the transitions are quick and he can move into the space when the opposition's midfielders and defenders are out of position. I do think this represents a massive flaw in Inyaki's game. He doesn't seem to have the flair around tight spaces in the box to be able to play up against a structured defensive system because he doesn't have the close control dribbling, vision or passing needed to break down the opposition's defence and create a chance. This will be a massive issue if he's signed because Manchester United come up against a lot of structured defences. Not every team is going to come at Manchester United and try to play them out of the game, try to move advanced midfielders ahead of the midfield and leave that space for Inyaki to break into. Most of the game is going to be him receiving the ball in tight one-on-ones around the box where you have to create a chance. Martial is really good at this, but this is a part of Inyaki's game which he really lacks and I think this is going to be a massive issue if Manchester United sign him. So if signed, how would Inyaki Williams fit into Solskjaer's tactical system? So in a 4-3-3, it looks like Inyaki Williams will be playing on the right with Martial on the left and Rashford up front. This system would probably suit Inyaki very well, especially in big games where Manchester United are using quick transition attacks and Inyaki Williams can look to make those long runs in behind the back line. I do think Inyaki struggles to make those short movements around the box to create a bit of space so the ball can be fed into him to give him a goal scoring opportunity. From watching him a lot, he is a bit static around the box, especially when the ball's out wide, and this is why I think it'll be easy for opposition sides to nullify Nyaku's threat by sitting deep and closing down that space in behind the back line, so Nyaku Williams can't be making those runs in there, which would take away a massive part of his game. He could also be used in a 4-4-2 diamond as one of the wide strikers, though to me this sort of signing doesn't make sense if Solskjaer wants to go with this as his predominant system. This is because surely Solskjaer will be looking to sign a player who is more creative, who can move into the half spaces and create chances from there, rather than a wide player who likes to make runs in behind, as both Rashford and Martial are these types of players, which means that either Rashford or Martial have to be played out of position at the top of the diamond, which isn't their main role, and doesn't suit their attributes. So overall, would Inyaki Williams be a good signing for Manchester United? No, I don't think he would be, especially at a fee of around £81 million. He does have the electric pace and quick transition and dribbling ability, and the movement to make runs in behind when the opposition is playing a high line, though I do think this is very one dimensional and easy to nullify, which is why I wouldn't be paying £80 million. Also, there's players like Wilfred Zaha on the market. Zaha's a much more complete player than Iyaki Williams. He's a better finisher, a better goal scorer, and a better dribbler in one on one situations, particularly around the box because he has better close control. So I think he'd be a better option. He's also more versatile, so I can't see why Manchester United would be going for Iyaki Williams when someone like Wilfred Zaha is available. This just stinks of a desperate signing, and Iyaki Williams is 20. 
25 as well. It's not like he's a young player like Martial was, where he has a higher potential ceiling and the time to improve his game. Iñaki will almost have to come in and within at least one season be the finished article. He also isn't versatile enough to play those different roles in the front three and offers the same attributes that the likes of Rashford, Martial and Greenwood have. So if Manchester United want to be spending £80 million on a forward, they should be looking for someone like Dybala in that mode, who is more of a creator and can play that deeper role in a 4-4-2 diamond and can offer some advanced creativity rather than just pace and dribbling ability to run in behind the defence. Thank you for watching, remember to like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this so you don't miss out on any of the transfer analysis, season previews or fantasy football videos coming up over the next few weeks.